All right, welcome back, brother. Welcome hey. back. How you been? I'm doing good, dude. We're uh, we've been busy, busy, busy to say the least. That's good. Just busy is good. Busy. So uh, we talked about in episode one. Um, I'm the only guy in the region making any money in this business, and yep. The crazy thing about it is, is we're making even more money now than we were, which is absolutely ridiculous but it's a good thing it's a good ridiculous i mean you know if you do a good product put we're it buying out there bmws like and it. porsches because we can there you go right yeah no ferraris yet though you don't want a ferrari in sacramento the roads are too bad and the people can't drive <laughs> yeah. not only that it's just too darn hot those things like yeah blow up yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah they say sacramento has a mediterranean climate but i, I don't know about that part. yeah i don't know maybe mediterranean right yeah yeah so Maybe what are we like talking east about? africa mediterranean Jesus, part. seriously yeah. so what uh so what's going on dude what's uh what's the agenda today uh today i figured we would talk about advertising your property how to market it on oh, there's a ton of free stuff to make that happen for you youtube google um Craigslist, Zillow. I'm not huge on Zillow, but yeah, Either use I, it if it's I'm, free. I want to talk about. I want to talk about Zillow quite a bit. In fact, you know what? Let's talk about Cafe Realtor too. Yeah, yeah. Celeste is. Yeah, I like that. She's brilliant. Oh, you know, I like she's, her. She's I like absolutely her. brilliant. She it's, needs to invite us to win the baseball game. Though. I know. I seriously, to right? Baseball game. I know. All right. I I'm could gonna, coach her. I'm gonna I'm gonna give her a hard time on that one. All right. Okay. So so let's talk about marketing your property. What kind of property properties are we talking about? Are we talking about um, investment property? Are we talking about uh, selling a property to sell it? What are we talking about? Um, I think today we'll probably primarily talk about we'll talk about all of them, but mostly I think this one's gonna be for the rental property owners. Okay. Because nobody ever tells them really how to market their property. The rental property. Yeah, the rental property. Whether no. it's a duplex, single house, small apartment complex, nobody ever really shares the marketing part of the business. And you you got to market. I okay. Wonder, let let, let yeah. me ask you. So yeah. let's say somebody owns um, three houses here okay. in town. Okay, All right. and they're renting those homes out. Should that person, let's say that their name is John Smith, okay? Okay. Should John Smith Real Estate Investments, should he have a little website that has the three properties and whether or not those properties are available or vacant or, or becoming available or occupied, just so when it comes down to that property is available again, people can go back and quickly reference that and search engines pick it up, yada, 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 yada. Not a bad idea. Um, there is, and we'll do, I'll put a video up on the YouTube channel mm -hmm. with links to a bunch of the real inexpensive software stuff. And there's mm -hmm. one friend of mine, Gabe, has a company called Real Bird. Mm -hmm. I think it's like $99 a year. It'll post your property out everywhere. It'll give you a little website for it. Um, you update it all the time, even gives you how to drop it on Craigslist, quick, mm -hmm. fast, easy. Mm -hmm. So the short answer is yes, but do it the simplest, fastest, least expensive way possible. Well, you, you put the properties up there, and they're always going to be up there. And as you yeah. start to expand your, your, your portfolio, you've got, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten houses. But you literally have all of the listings, what each home is. Uh, but when it should be available again, when the lease expires, whether they have already talked about staying or going? Um, no. No? You don't want that because you really don't want people going by disturbing your tenants. Okay. And you really want to kind of keep your tenants as long as possible. Okay. And you got people driving by looking at it because they think it's going to come up vacant. I don't want to live in that house. See, Strangers so, cruising by, checking it. No, out. and, and he, that's what that, that's why I'm asking these questions because I'm yeah. a marketing guy. I'm about I'm a guy that's about um, getting seen, getting exposed, yeah. getting whatever it is when it comes to your business, uh, moving the people in, getting them through your business, and providing them with value and sending them sending them out. Yeah, you're about keeping people in that property and as long as possible making it profitable for you, eliminating the cost, and doing it 
is easy, but you have to take the point of view and see all four or five sides of the situation. Mm -hmm. And one of them is you got to be respectful of people that are putting the money in your pocket, which mm -hmm. is your tenant, mm -hmm. and afford them some privacy for being there too. Now, one of the things that we can do that I tell people to do is when a property's done and it's ready and you go through with your cell phone and you videotape the whole property, you use that tape for a lot of different things, but one of them is you've got a Gmail address that's that property address. Mm -hmm. So you create a YouTube account. Mm -hmm. So that video is up on YouTube. Hmm. Constantly floating out there. Hmm. That's your marketing piece that's habitually out there, but it only links to your Google Voice phone, which you go get. And then we show you how to structure all of that because that's a whole other training mm -hmm. thing that'd mm -hmm. be too hard to get into now it's 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 simple to do but it's time consuming. the answers are on the it, it, it cash cow though yeah okay cash cow systems.org will have that answer yeah um okay now i'll um, even do a quickie little on my own okay let me ask you this let's say i'm buying my very first investment property mm -hmm. how should i go about marketing to get tenants um if you're buying it and it doesn't have tenants in it first thing i'm going to tell you is if it's a residential property, it's kind of a fixed price. But if you're buying a small apartment complex and it doesn't have tenants in it, then you need to get a smoking hot deal in it because commercial multifamily stuff that mm -hmm. is unoccupied mm -hmm. has really no value. So you need to be aware of that. Okay. Um, I'm more talking a single family residence. But yeah, single family or duplex kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, get it cleaned up. Do the video. Create the Gmail account. On the prop with the property address, the mm -hmm. full address. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the fastest, easiest way: throw up an ad on Craigslist, throw up a sign in the yard, go to the nearest grocery store, put a notice up on their bulletin board, and talk to the grocery store manager because he may have an employee or two that's been transferred and looking for that. Go to your hmm. church or Facebook. Facebook is okay. Um, one of the caveats with Facebook is... You don't is, want to rent it to your family. Well, it isn't so much that is almost everybody has access to Facebook, so now you've just told the whole world that there's a vacant house. So now you kind of set yourself up for every criminal in the world that's going to go steal your copper, trash your house, homeless guy move in. There's things that you got to deal with now that you didn't have to deal with before. I never thought about that. Yeah. I guess that's why we're talking about this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, and that's one of the reasons why I say you don't want a Facebook account for your rental properties. Hmm. Now, if you're a realtor, yeah, you get your business Facebook page, you get your personal Facebook page because you are selling yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you put the properties up that are for sale or for rent, and you're kind of professionally managing those mm -hmm. or helping a landlord manage those. Mm -hmm. um, but nowadays, the way things are... A vacant property is an invitation to, to problems. I never thought of any of that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, before we go to break, what else should we uh, cover real quick? Um, definitely, if it's single-family home or duplex, go knock on the doors for all the neighbors. Give them your contact information. Tell them to call the cops and call you if there's any problems. They see anybody wandering around it that doesn't belong there. The other thing is reach out to one of the local realtors. You've probably got some kind of postcard thing Correct. in a mailbox. Mm -hmm. Ask them if they want to hold an open house. Give them the applications. If they don't know how to do it, contact me. I'll teach you and them how you can pay them to have an open house so you as the property owner don't have to drop everything you're doing every time somebody wants to see the house, and you can get it shown for you for next to nothing. A heck of a lot less than what you're ever going to pay a management company that may do it. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, cashcowsystems.org. We're going to go to a break. We're going to come back and learn a lot more. We'll be right back.